Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm just going to be going through all the latest developments of what's going on between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. So let's get straight into this video. So like I've said, um, I'm going to be going through all the latest developments in that whole nightmare of a situation for both of them. Because it is a nightmare for both of them. And so basically there have been a few things that have been going on since the trial it may be a, it may be finished and stuff but it doesn't appear that it's going to be over so what is happening is as you know donny depp was awarded 15 million dollars amber heard awarded two million dollars and apparently what is going to happen is amber heard's side they're going to make an appeal but the rumors that apparently what it's going to take it could take years for the process to go through so basically what an expert has come out and said saying it's really difficult to win a legal appeal they said anyone appealing has an uphill battle um the person who's saying is someone called rebecca Sull sullivan she's a washington dc attorney who focuses on family and law it says here if amber heard and her legal team decide to appeal the resolution can take many years but they're suggesting that she should appeal because of the amount of money that's involved in the situation they said it's a long expensive process mentioned david ring to la civil is a la civil trial law and he basically said when you're facing a 15 million dollar judgment you certainly have to probably pursue that anyway so he's basically saying because there's so much money involved she can't afford to just move on and just pay it they were like saying that basically having tv cameras didn't help her at all because she's not a loved figure by the public and it's like i would definitely say it's not that she's not a loved figure by the public i think johnny depp is a much more loved figure by the public you see i think if amber heard had a following as big as johnny depp and johnny depp was in amber heard's position i don't think johnny depp wins this case in the slightest not at all uh, the rebecca sullivan lady she said this i would expect the appellate portion of the case where the audience is judges to focus more on legal arguments and a lot less of the theatrics that we saw in the trial. So basically what she is saying is, if there is an appeal, she definitely thinks there's going to be no cameras, no press and all that, and it's going to be behind closed doors. The article here says, legal experts gave no answer about Amber Heard's chances to win the appeal. They have diverse opinions. Basically means none of them are actually sure. They think the case is too confusing to be able to give an idea of who would win the next one. They said, nevertheless, in their testimony to time, they all agreed an appeal is an obligated step. So they're basically saying that she has to appeal. She can't just let it go, you know. Other news in the whole situation. So his lawyers went on Good Morning America recently. And basically, they have apparently hinted that Johnny Depp doesn't want any money from Amber Heard at all. That he, it was never about money. So I'll read you what the article says. Johnny Depp recently won a defamation case against his ex-wife Amber Heard after a Virginia court ruled that Amber had defamed Depp in the 2018 article that she wrote about domestic abuse. He was awarded $10.35 million in damage. Later, Amber's lawyer had said that she cannot afford to pay him. In a new interview, now Johnny Depp's lawyer, Benjamin Chu, said that Amber may not have to pay the money after all. He added that for Depp, the trial was not about money. So I've seen this before that apparently he's been privately saying he doesn't want her money because he never wanted the money. He just wanted, you know, his public image back. And, you know, we'll see. The Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial finally came to an end in re recently after six weeks. The jury, ru jury ruled in favor of Johnny Depp and awarded him $50 million in damages. The financial difficulties being faced by Amber Heard came to the fore during the trial. Recently, Good Morning America host George Stephanopoulos asked Johnny Depp's lawyer, Benjamin Chu, if the actor would say yes to a settlement where Amber Heard agrees not to appeal the case in exchange for him waiving monetary damages. In reply, Gem Jeremy Benjamin, what am I saying Jeremy for? Benjamin hinted that it might happen. Chu said on the show, we obviously can't disclose any attorney-client communications, but as Mr. Depp testified, and we both made clear in our respective closings, this was never about money for him. This is about restoring his reputation, and he's done now. So I will say this. I have always admired Johnny Depp as an actor, you know? I hope he goes back to doing movies because he does do some good movies. I just think him and Tim Burton need to steer clear of each other because that's just, it was a match made in heaven in the past, it isn't anymore. 
So basically, her, Amber's lawyer has actually also been talking about her career. And he was referring to the success of Aquaman 1. So he said, after $1 billion success of the 2018 film Aquaman, her career should have had a similar trajectory to that of her co-star Jason Momoa, argued Jessica Kovacevic. Kovacevic, Amber Heard's agent. And according to even Standard, the agent had actors usually enjoy a rise in fame after a hit film like Aquaman. But Heard's career has since stalled and had sim subsequently missed out on an Amazon project with actor Gail Garcia Bernal. Kovacevic told the court, no one can say out loud, we're taking this away from her because of this bad press. Because it's nothing she did, she added. It's all hearsay and it's all whatever. But there's no other reason. Her testified at the trial that her role in Aquaman 2 had been significantly significantly curtailed amid the curl battle with Johnny Depp and said that she had been given a new version of the script that had taken away scenes that had action in it. The actor told the court she had fought really hard to stay in the movie. They didn't want to include me in the film. There's been widespread ver vilification of her online in recent weeks. Writing for the Times, Polly Vernon said that the internet mood and by extension the public mood is overwhelming anti hurt Well, I can say that for a fact because for a while there has been top trending hashtag Hashtag has been Amber Turd, which, you know, at the end of the day, a bit boring to be quite honest, Amber Turd, I mean, I have seen people tweet online saying that Amber Heard doesn't deserve to ever work ever again, and it's like, listen to yourself, listen to yourself, this person is a human being. Amber Heard is not innocent. Johnny Tebb is not innocent. But and quite frankly, it's none of our business, is it? I mean, because like, as you can see, Amber's not going to get many roles coming forward. And from what I'm hearing, Johnny Depp is getting some roles coming through the door because he's popular right now. But as far as the money goes is concerned, if he doesn't want to take money from her, I'll have a lot of respect for him for that, you know? Because he's become the bigger person then. He's like, I don't want your money. I just want my life back, you know? And I don't think he's ever been vilified by the public, no matter what she has said. I think it's always been in Hollywood. I think Hollywood has viewed him as whatever everyone thinks he is, you know? And I think that got to him because that's his livelihood. And I've always, I mean, I was not happy when they removed him from Fantastic Beasts 3. I thought that was the dumbest decision in the world. It's like, let's just say everything she said was true. He should still be in that film anyway, you know? What do you guys think about this whole situation? Um, I think it's a mess. I said when they were in trial, I said no one wins in this situation. And no one is going to win in this situation. You know, they are both going to struggle, you know? But yeah, I just thought I'd update on everyone on what is going on with um, these two. And I, yeah, as usual, if you guys like these videos, you know, please click on that like button. Share the video around. He helps with YouTube's algorithm, which is becoming more and more difficult every year, as you know. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Take care.